Welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel Mohammed Niyas with you and today you are watching the second video of Office 365 and Exchange Hybrid Configuration. In the first video you saw in detail about uh, the different topologies that you can configure for hybrid configuration between your organization on-premises exchange and Office 365 and also you saw how to create a tenant and how to verify that tenant with your domain. The next step is to synchronize your on-prem active directory with Azure Active Directory and that is what we're gonna see in this video. And it's not a big deal, it's like you have a secondary data center and you're gonna configure a second active directory in your secondary data center. There are different methods that you can use to synchronize your active directory with the Azure AD. Password hash sync uh, or pass through method or federated authentication. So I explained all these three methods in the first video. And in this video, we're going to see how to configure Active Directory synchronization using password hash sync. That is the simplest method that you can uh, choose unless you don't have a specific reason to go for another methods. So let's see how to configure an Active Directory synchronization with uh, on-premises AD using password hash sync. The other synchronization method we will cover in the coming videos. So let's start the demonstration. Log in to admin.microsoft.com, that is the admin portal. Once you expand admin center from Office 365 portal, you will get the Azure Active Directory uh, admin center. You can try the new admin center also. It looks a bit different, but almost uh, same. So from here also, you can go to Azure Active Directory. So the purpose of Azure Active Directory is it is an active directory like what you have in your on-premises. So Office 365, you need uh, to synchronize your username and password with Azure Active Directory. So here you can see I have only one user and the source is Azure Active Directory. When you look at the on-premises, you will see there are many users. So it is not yet synchronized. So you need to do some configuration uh, for authentication between the Office 365 users in your organization and your active directory so there are different methods for that so based upon your organization interest you can go for that to configure azure active directory synchronization with your on-prem ad go to azure active directory then click azure ad connect what you see are the methods for authentication so password hash synchronization is there federation is there seamless single sign-on is there then pass through authentication so those are the different methods that you can use to authenticate your users in hybrid configuration. Password hashing is the simplest method. You just need to download Azure AD Connect. Then it synchronizes the passwords with the Azure AD in an encrypted form. It's stored in the Azure AD. So this is the simplest method. In the Federation, Azure AD hands off the authentication to a separate trusted authentication system such as on-premises active directory federation service to validate the username and password then the final method pass through authentication which use a service agent and that runs on an on-premises servers and those servers validate the user identity with on-premises active directory so it is advised to use a password hash synchronization method unless you have a specific reason to go through uh, other methods so here we choose password hash synchronization and for that you need to download Azure AD Connect. So let's download Azure AD Connect. Click download. Then save it. Before you run Azure Active Directory Connect, it is advisory to go through ID Fix tool. So run ID Fix tool in your Active Directory. This will help you to identify the errors such as duplicates and formatting problems in your Active Directory before you synchronize it with Office 365. So once you download Run IDFix tool, click OK, then click Query. Now you can see there is query count is 79 and there is no error. So once you complete with IDFix, let's go back to the downloads and copy your Azure AD Connect and run Azure AD Connect from your server. Now Azure AD Connect has installed and let's configure Azure AD Connect. For that agree with the license terms then 
click next and click use express settings then here enter your uh, azure active directory global administrator credentials this account is would be created in the beginning when we uh, register for the subscription of office 365 once you enter the details click next then enter on-premises active directory credentials so enter the administrator credentials for on-premises active directory then click next now from the both side as your active directory and on-premises has verified click next to configure synchronization service so select exchange hybrid deployment because this is a hybrid deployment for exchange server then click install now the synchronization configuration has completed you can close this wizard then go to our azure active directory then go to users now you can see all the users that we found in your on premises is available here and those are in on premises the source is identified as a windows server active directory and an account which is created in office 365 is known as, is uh, identified as azure active directory account let's move to admin center and assign licenses to these users you only need to assign licenses for the users that you are planning to bring to office 365 in a hybrid setup you will not bring all the users to office 365 so assign the licenses to the users that you are planning to move to office 365 here uh, this is for a demonstration purpose so i'm just uh, adding license to all the users so select the accounts that you need to assign licenses then manage product license then add to existing product license assignments this is office 365 business premium license so i have uh, many applications available with this license if you want to uh, deselect some of this application you can do that from here so this will help you to customize the access of your users to uh, application so you only uh, need to select users that you are planning to bring to office 365 all other users you can keep unlicensed so that is all about active directory synchronization in the coming video we're gonna see how to set up uh, exchange hybrid using hybrid configuration wizard so thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel